podcast. Today we're going to be having a trivia day. For every group of three questions, if you get two wrong, you get a punishment soda. Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter, ooh, and jelly. Okay, y mi, y mi pan? Which ancient civilization built the famous city of Teotihuacan? I'll go with the Aztecs. Okay, si es de Tenochtitlan, los Aztecas. The Aztecs? You sure? Well, no, because these are all like the powerful indigenous tribes of, of that land, but yes, I would say with the, the Aztecs. What is the capital city of Mexico? Guadalajara, Monterrey, Cancun, Mexico City. Mexico City. Ciudad de Mexico. Mexico City. Which Mexican artist is known for their colorful paintings, including the two Fridas, self-portrait with thorn necklace and hummingbird? I'm going to go with Diego Rivera. You sure? Yeah. Frida Kahlo? Frida Kahlo. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. It like, was Frida. I, 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 I enjoyed it so much I did that on purpose, bro. Cheers. It kind of tastes like um, peanut butter, peanuts, uh, peanut butter that has been sitting for a long time and you go and open the jar. Yeah, old pantry peanut butter that's been there for, it's been open, but see, but closed and been sitting for maybe a year or two. Yeah, yeah great stuff. Bacon. Fudge, bacon, bro. Bacon soda. What is the name of the traditional Mexican dish consisting of a corn tortilla folded or rolled around a filling? Enchilada. Sure. Yeah, enchilada. Burrito. Which Mexican holiday celebrates the dead? Día de los muertos. Hey, the Día de los muertos. Tú solo te mataste. Día de los muertos. Día de los muertos. What is the name of the largest pyramid in Mexico, located in the state of Puebla? Never been there. Don't know, but I'm taking a wild guess. Um, pyramid of the Moon. Sure. No, but I'm gonna take that one. Pues sería la de Cholula, yo creo, porque. Porque la del Sol, las de Mexico están en Tenochtitlán, ¿no? Están en la Ciudad de México. I think it's a pyramid of the sun. Sure. Not sure, but I, that's my final answer. Cholula. I thought that was a trick question because of ch Cholula. It tastes like bacon, but more the the maple bacon, the honey bacon, right? Oh. So not the not the straight bacon. You know, I, yeah. I like I like regular bacon. Yeah. I don't like the honey, you know, the maple bacon or whatever, you know. But it tastes uh, like that maple bacon. Pumpkin pie. No sé dónde agarrar estas madres, pero bueno. Which Mexican city is famous for its silver jewelry production? I'm gonna guess, dude. Um, that wasn't part of my history lessons at my house. So I'm gonna go with Tasco. Wow. <laughs> en, en plata era Puebla. ¿Me entiendes? Aquí, pero no vamos con Puebla. No vamos con la que se cruza la raya. <laughs> I'm gonna say Oaxaca. No, I'm not sure. Who was the first indigenous woman to be nominated for the Nobel Prize in Literature? That first one sounds very sophisticated, but I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm gonna go with Rosario Castellanos. Sure. Yeah, no, but yes, I'm going with her. Rosario Castellanos, porque el otro es Octavio de la Paz, así que... Octavio Paz. I would say Sor Juana, Sor Juana Inés de la Cruz. Which Mexican state is known for its mariachi music and tequila production? Ooh, I don't know nothing about tequila, dude. No? Oh, wait, oh, that's what I was like, I think that was so realistic. Mi bonito Jalisco, carajo. Yes, 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 y arriba Jalisco. You said that so good. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. Tequila's my poison. Yeah, tequila. Love tequila. Y mariachi también. Mariachi. I love tequila. No, por chapa, ¿no? Ah. Yeah. Oh, Jalisco, ya si no. Jalisco. Final answer. Ah, bro, that's pan y pie. Mal le faltó el pan. Mal esta madre. Mustard. Which Mexican artist is known for his large-scale murals depicting Mexican culture and history? I'm going to go with Diego Rivera. He's going to have to get me right on this one. Rufino Tamayo. I would say Diego Rivera. He's probably the most famous, but a lot of those characters are also muralists because three of them were like the three muralists of Mexico. I'd say Diego Rivera. Yeah, final answer. What is the name of the ancient Mayan city located in the Yucatan Peninsula? known for its well-preserved pyramids. Oh, I've been to the first and the second. They both preserve pretty well, Tulum. Chichen Itza. Chichen Itza. I say Chichen Itza, but those are all beautiful places. But I'm thinking Chichen Itza, yeah. Which Mexican state is famous for its cuisine, particularly its mole sauce? I'm not sure, but I'm going to go with Michoacan because I liked it. Oaxaca. Señor. 
I say Oaxaca or Sonora, but I'll go with Oaxaca. Yeah. Oaxaca. Yeah. <laughs> mustard flavored soap. And it gives a mustard smell. That's Sweet corn. What is the name of the active volcano located near Mexico City? Paricutin. It's the one that I could say. <laughs> so I'm sure. El primero. My answer is A, but I was thinking that you were going to have E and say, Para Guatara, <laughs> Which Mexican architect designed the iconic Museo Nacional de Antropología in Mexico? You're stumping me on these, and I'm taking, I'm going to take wild guesses. I'm going to go with Pedro Ramiro Vázquez. Ahí sí, no, 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 I would say, say, Luis Barragan, or or B, but but I'm going with, with A, my first instinct. What is the name of the traditional Mexican soup made with hominy and meat, often garnished with cabbage, lime, and radish? So it's not birria and it's not caldo de res, but I wish I would remember here because I mix them both up. I'm going with menudo, because pozole, if I, yeah, I know, it's menudo, yeah. Pozole. Well, you know, you can have, you can have hominy also in menudo. Some people have it. But this question is probably more true to pozole uh, when you mention the cabbage, you know. So, yeah. So it's uh, pozole. Actually, pozole. Dude, that's what I'm... <laughs> Ooh. I got the taste of the water when you boil um, corn and you boil it, right, to cook it and just eat it. That's interesting. That is uh, a trip. It tastes like the water. Not that I've drank the water, but it tastes like the water um, where you boil the corn. But it also tastes like when I, I was younger in Mexico making tamales de, de, puro, uh, de puro elote. It's not bad. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's not bad. Buffalo wing. It's, it's the buffalo wing soda. Which Mexican boxer is widely regarded as one of the greatest of all time, having won world championships in multiple weight classes? Uh, Julio Cesar Chavez. Tú lo acabas de decir, el mejor de todos los tiempos, a mi manera de parecer, como el boxeador y como deportista, Julio César Chávez. It's a, a, a Julio César Chávez. Which ancient civilization is responsible for the construction of the circular pyramids known as Yacatas in western Mexico? I'm going to go with the Olmecs. Sure. Los purupepechas, ¿cómo llaman? Purupechas. Uh -huh. Wow, I'm going to get this one wrong. Known for their circular pyramids, Olmex. Last question. You ready for this? I'm ready, I'm ready. What was your least favorite soda? The least favorite soda? You already know. <laughs> it was the mustard one. The mustard one, yeah, definitely. Uh, the mustard. mustard. That mustard one was, really? yeah. Ooh. It went to my nose. They have a lot of carbon. Ooh, yeah. A little spicy to it. Yeah, not bad. I taste orange soda, but a little bit of, a, of, of yeah, a little bit of 